Hi, if you enjoyed today's book, don't forget to hit like and subscribe. Thank you. Hello, friends. Welcome back to our Disney Storybook Advent Series. Are you ready to open the giant book and see what today's story will be? Here we go. Open. Our last book number was number 12. So that means today's number is 13. Do you see book number 13? There it is. Oh, it's a Finding Dory book. Disney Pixar, Finding Dory, who needs a hug? Dory darted across the sandy floor in front of her parents' home in Morro Bay. She noticed a purple shell, gently tossed it high over her head, and smiled. I like shells, and Mom loves purple ones, said Dory. Jenny and Charlie swam out from their home to meet Dory. It's our last day in Morro Bay, sighed Jenny. I hope our new home will have lots of purple shells. Dory couldn't wait to show off the reef in her coral cave to her mom and dad, and they couldn't wait to move in. Jenny glanced lovingly at Dory and Charlie. I'm so happy we're together, said Jenny. I think I need a hug. A great big, oh so tight family hug. Dory, Charlie, and Jenny snuggled up to each other. Dory felt safe, warm, and loved. You know who gives great hugs? Dory asked. Nemo! I wonder what he's up to. I'd better go find him. Dory turned and swam off into the bay to find Nemo. Don't go too far, kelp cake, Charlie called. Dory swam through the dark green kelp. She spied Nemo playing hide and seek with some new friends. Found you both, a parrotfish called to his friends. Nemo and an angelfish somersaulted slowly down to the seabed. Oh no, cried Nemo laughing. We're doomed. Ah! The three young fish collapsed on the sea floor, giggling. Hey, what's wrong with your fin? The angel fish asked Nemo. It's so tiny. Nemo looked down at his fin. He didn't think it looked wrong. Dory swam down from the kelp. That tiny fin took Nemo across the entire Pacific Ocean, she said proudly. He's one of the best swimmers I know. I think you need a hug, you super duper swimmer, Dory said. She gave Nemo a heartfelt squeeze. Urgh, not so tight, said Nemo, a little embarrassed. Come play with us, Dory. You're it, so start counting. Dory started to count, but soon she noticed some shells and started counting them instead. She bumped into a giant stalk of kelp and saw something wiggling near the surface. Dory swam closer to get a better look. She spotted a small ball of fur looking down at her. Well, hello there, Dory said to the ball of fur. Meanwhile, Nemo and his friends waited for Dory to find them. They waited and waited and waited. I think Dory forgot about us, Nemo said. We should go find her. The three fish swam out from their hiding spots and found Dory. She was staring at something up in the kelp. Look, it's a baby otter, said the angel fish. He's so cute, said the parrot fish. I just want to give him a hug. Yay, one more player, cried Nemo. Let's hide. Don't forget, Dory, you need to look for us. 
Nemo and his friends swam off again. The otter pup wriggled out of the seaweed. He dove and splashed in the water. The ball of fur couldn't wait to hide. Dory began to count. Ten, nine, eight, twelve, eleven, ten, three, two, one. Ready or not, here I come. Dory darted this way and that way. She found Nemo first. He was hiding in a group of sea urchins. Then she found the angelfish and parrotfish. They were hiding behind some rocks. My turn, it's my turn to hide, Dory cried. Nemo looked around, but where's the otter? He asked, did you find him? Oh, that cute little brown ball of fur? Well, um, no, Dory admitted. Bet he found the best hiding spot, the angelfish whispered to the parrotfish. They looked and looked, but couldn't find him anywhere. He's lost, 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 cried the parrotfish. If he's lost, you can find him, Dory, Nemo said. When I was lost, you helped my dad find me. You never gave up. You can count on me, said Dory, as she darted off to find the otter. Nemo and his friends raced after her. They swam under a tall red buoy. Not here, said Dory. They swam around a large gray rock. Nope, said Nemo. Not here either. Then Dory spotted something up ahead. Look, over there. That looks like an otter, she cried swim this way. But it wasn't the little otter. It was Destiny and Bailey. Is there a wall up ahead? Asked Destiny. I don't want to crash. I'm right behind you, said Bailey. Remember, there are no walls in the ocean. Destiny suddenly bumped into something soft and squishy. A cloud of black ink crept into the water. Oh no, gasped Bailey. It's Hank! Hank blushed and slunk down to hide. Destiny swam to console him. I'm sorry, Hank, whispered Destiny. I didn't mean to scare you. Do you need a hug? Me? Hug? Nah, grumbled Hank as he pushed Destiny away. Hank noticed everyone staring at him. What are you all looking at? He asked with a grimace. Hank's worried about looking silly, explained Nemo, but accidents happen to all of us. Dory quickly explained they were looking for the baby otter and that they needed to get him safely back to his parents. Bailey used his echolocation to help find the otter pup. He's in the kelp forest, he said. The friends headed off together straight away. The gang found the otter pup asleep on a bed of kelp floating on the surface. Let's get you back home, Dory said quietly to the sleeping pup. Destiny placed the pup on her head by slowly gliding upward and gently lifting the still sleeping otter out of the way. Bailey swam ahead to guide Destiny as she carried the otter pup closer to shore. Go right, then left, Destiny, Bailey called out as he navigated around a rock. Otters were everywhere. Some were chasing each other in the water, some were diving for food, and a few were dozing on their backs. The otter pup woke up at hearing the familiar sounds. He squealed happily and jumped into the water swimming toward his parents. The reunited family embraced in a huge otter family hug. They missed their pup and couldn't hug him enough. Moments later, the sun began to set over the bay. All the otters moved in closer and closer. One by one, they placed their arms around each other and began to hug. It was a giant cuddle party. Dory and her friends gathered together. Charlie, Jenny, and Marlin surfaced beside them. Dory sighed. 
She remembered how much she loved her friends and family. I think I need a hug, she said. Everyone, even Hank, gathered around Dory. They placed their fins, flippers, and arms around her and hugged her. A great big, oh-so-tight family hug. What a great book! Thank you for watching! Please don't forget to subscribe, like, and ring the notification bell because more readings are coming soon!